up in the foster care system showed me how many different ways people lived. Going from family to family and seeing the way they lived their life and how they communicated with each other taught me different family environments. Um, interpersonal communication is one or more people exchanging information by using verbal and nonverbal interactions. Every single one of you guys has a personal relationship with at least one other person. Um, and a lot of you guys go home every night to a family um, that you have a relationship with, or sometimes maybe you don't. Um, having lived in so many homes and seeing um, what they do with each other showed me how a loving family looks like, but importantly, it also showed me how a toxic family looks like. Um, today, um, today, I will inform you about the characteristics of um, toxic families, the characteristics of loving families, and tips how you can improve your communication skills um, with the personal people around you. So first I will talk about the toxic environments and traits of a toxic family. Um, living in my last foster home, I saw the worst type of family relationship I had ever seen. These little girls um, came into the home that I was living with and it seemed that they came from a really toxic place. Um, for starters, they were really quiet, so whenever I would ask them a question, they would get scared and paranoid, like if they were going to say something they were, weren't supposed to say. Um, and they used a lot of nonverbal communication, is what I noticed. Um, their haptics, was, which is um, their sense of touch, was also off. If people got too close to them, they would be really awkward and like wouldn't want to be around it. Which, to be fair, like it is a new home, so I would understand why they would feel like that. But um, even after living with us for a while, they were really uncomfortable when we touched them or hugged them. And um, it was really, really sad. Um, a lot of scholars say that more than 60% of communication is nonverbal. So your actions and what you do, it um, says more than what you say. Um, the good thing about this is that the girls um, living with us taught them how to like be more open and they finally started sharing about um, their family and we realized why they were the way they are because of how their um, parents, biological parents treated them, but they got better and that's, it's a happy ending in their part. So now that I talked about toxic family environments, I'm going to be talking about loving family environments. So. In Interpersonal Communications, Everyday Encounters by Julia T. Woods, she states, one of the most important guidelines for sustaining healthy families is to make fairness a high priority. So by having everyone be fair, you can see that no one is being praised more or less than anybody else. Um, communicating with your family members is also a really big part about having a, um, a healthy personal relationship with them, and they'll feel more, um, more like, like they can talk to you and you can talk to them if you share your feelings with them. Um, so like letting them know how you feel. And even like a simple, I admire you and um, I love you are really strong words. So don't be afraid to say stuff like that because that just creates a really loving family environment. So now that I talked about um, a loving family environment, I'm gonna be talking about um, how to communicate with people that are close to you, so in your personal life. Um, being aware of your nonverbal and verbal um, actions, like I said before, it makes a big difference. So like when you're having a conversation with someone, make sure that you are having eye contact with them and that you're like nodding and letting them know that you're there and that you're listening. Also, um, make, making sure that they're heard, like I said, like nodding and listening. And keep in mind your tone and pitch because um, you might be saying something but if you say it in a certain tone, they can find it as rude or like disrespectful. So just keep in mind all like your tone and pitch. So um, this is where my speech comes to an end. I've talked about um, what, um, how, how toxic families look like and how loving families look like and some tips on how to be um, more communicative with people in your life. Like I said before, um, a lot of people come from a lot of different places, so um, the way they communicate with other people is going to be different. And uh, next time you are like walking in the street, just look at how someone is walking, like with just like puffing up their chest or even like looking down on the floor, you can tell uh, how they're feeling.